Hi, Shabbat Shalom everyone. As you can see, this gorgeous corner in this area over here with beautiful flowers over here, every single different type of flower you can imagine to decorate a specific apartment. But I forgot something integral for this specific corner, a specific flower over here I forgot over here. And it would have been made a most gorgeous corner of flowers, possibly in the whole vicinity of here, but I forgot to buy something, and that's what we're talking about in this week's parasha. Parashat Kitet Sefrens over here. Forgetfulness is could could be if someone forgets something, could that be a good thing? One would think that no, it's definitely going to be a bad thing over here to forget something. You don't want to forget. You want to do everything that you can to remember about all different topics. And here I forgot something to complete this corner of flowers over here. I forgot to purchase something over here. Is it a mitzvah to forget something or not? You would have thought definitely not. It's a, obviously it's a mitzvah always to remember everything, to do the avodat Hashem and do everything perfect. And actually this week's parasha, friends, is parashat ki tetze. And parashat ki tetze, friends, is one of three parashat in the Torah along with mishpatim and parashat kedoshim, which is packed with full of mitzvot. In fact, this week's parasha has a total of 74 mitzvot featured inside it, making it the largest mitzvot collection in the whole of the Torah itself and it's actually interesting we know that there's a theme all throughout the torah all throughout the five books of uh, moses over here within regards to remembering things over here not forgetting remembering examples of here we know in sefer shemot very much where we learn about the exodus from egypt that's why hence we have the lela said at a passover night obviously in the middle of nisan respectively it's all memorizing and remembering what happened to us while we were enslaved in, in treacherous labor in egypt there's another mitzvah to remember Amalek. You know, the atrocities they try to t- inflict upon Am Yisrael. Also, there's mitzvot over there, very much part of the Purim story, a story in of itself, the whole episode with Amalek it is. However, there's one mitzvah over here, which let's just say is the antithesis of remembering. And that is, over here, I'll quote the Pasuk in this week's parasha in Parashat Ki in chapter 24, verse 19. It says, when you reap your harvest from your field, and you forget a sheaf of wheat behind in the field, do not return to collect it. It shall be for the convert, the ger, the orphan, and the widow, so that Hashem, your God, will bless you in everything that you do over here. So it's actually interesting. Over here is a case of not remembering. It's a case of forgetting here. You're talking about in this pasuk. And this item that you specifically forget over here is something called shechi. Shechecha, that is a Hebrew terminology over there. Interesting enough, it is one of five mitzvot in the Torah, which is concerning various different gifts to the poor from, let's say, our harvested crops. Now, we've spoken about this in the Dafiomi series I've done on various occasions. It's including the five, let's just say, uh, mitzvot, including leket, peya, shechecha, which is what we're talking about over here, a peret, and also Olelot, also. This was, this is obviously another one of the specific mitzvot. And in this mitzvah, we are commanded that if we forget a sheaf of wheat over here in our field after the harvest, we must not return to retrieve it over here. We've forgotten over here and we leave it now for the poor person because he is obviously less fortunate over here. So now, seemingly, we see a case scenario over here where it's good to forget. All of a sudden, by forgetting over here, you get this, reap the rewards of gaining a mitzvah of shichecha over here, where you're giving to the poor. And you can't plan, engineer this scenario seemingly over here. So it's actually interesting. It's unique amongst all the positive mitzvot in that it may not be performed with intention, kabana. Over here, you cannot perform it with intention of itself. We know ideally mitzvot, uh, they require something called kavanah, intention. When you're doing a mitzvah, you've got to intend you're doing it for this specific thing. But if one is performing a mitzvah and you haven't got intention kavanah over here, then it's like a case of bidiyavad over here. It's a case of like it's been done already. Still, they get obviously credit for the mitzvah, but not the optimum over here. But the only mitzvah inside the Torah for which having kavanah, intention, actually will disqualify it, is this mitzvah here of shichecha, the thing that you forget in the field for the poor person to take over here. Let's say the very premise over here, upon which shichecha is based, is that a person unintentionally forgets, let's say, a sheaf of wheat in his field. 
if someone, however, has, let, let's say, over here, prior intention to engineer this scenario over here, he, he hasn't necessarily achieved the mitzvah here. It's got to be he's forgotten naturally in of itself over here. And that's the beauty about this mitzvah over here, which is... Uh, and why is it so relevant in here in Parshat Ki over? We know that of the five gifts to the poor, the mitzvah of Shekha is the highest level it is considered, which is absolutely phenomenal. The other four are indeed, obviously, charity, also considered as sedaka in itself. That's what we call charity. But they are all premeditated, those other four aspects of this five uh, glamorous set of mitzvot. And this lowers their worth, naturally. When a person leaves payah, let's say, in the corner of his field, he does so knowingly and even willingly over here. He's intended to do it, wanting to give the poor a Hashem as command here, which is a fantastic thing. But it's impossible that this mitzvah can be performed, let's say, 100% altruistically, let's just say in of itself. The very fact that the person knows he's doing a mitzvah and getting reward for it over here in the world to come, is it, you could say it's not got the zenith level over here because it could be he's doing this mitzvah because of the reward over here. The only way someone can do the mitzvah of Shekha is without the intention of performing a mitzvah. He's got to forget over here. It's got to be engineered over here. And over here he is, it shows that he's done it L'Shem Shemayim because he forgets he can't plan this mitzvah in of itself and shows the greatness over here. We know that most of the Torah is about remembering, as we said before, remembering Amalek, remembering what happened in Egypt. But forgetting also has great power over here, as we see over here. And also one other aspect which forgetting, forgetfulness is also good, is when it comes to teshuva also. Obviously one's got to regret the Avera they've done all throughout the year, very much so. And one's got to ask forgiveness, not just to Hashem, also to his fellow man, if he had wronged somebody else also. But the teshuva is... About forgetting, let's just say, the past, obviously, what well, after one has repented it, and starting anew in its own right. So it's like we're seeing this forgetfulness over here could be a good thing also, because we hope that Hashem will wipe away our sins and forget about the wrongdoings that we had done throughout the specific year itself. And this is an awesome power of forgetting. The incredible gift, obviously, to Shuvah repentance. Hashem has given us, especially this present during the month of Elul over here, where we that beseech Hashem, we do slichot prayers over here throughout as we come into Rosh Hashanah and then eventually on to Yom Kippur in of itself. So let's make the most of this over here. We use this parashat, parashat ki tetzel, all these mitzvot that we're learning about the Shabbat over here. But we should, one thing we should remember is this mitzvah of forgetting over here, of the shichecha over here, of forgetting the lean, the sheaves for the poor person. He can't do that intentionally over here. As we do our veirot, our veirot, transgressions obviously the one is intending to do a transgression that's obviously a very worse level of it but we should also repent regret ask for forgiveness and then hopefully forget 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 so wishing all a shabbat shalom barach like to dedicate this lilunishmat so sorry you did but Esther, and wishing you blessings from israel look at this corner over here tomorrow i'm not going to forget to buy the thing i needed over here to complete this corner. Wishing you a great day.